Yes, SpaceX did it again, this time taking four paying astronauts, private astronauts they call them, to the International Space Station, commanded by one of the most decorated female space flyers ever. Tonight, Peggy Whitson, along with her pilot, a competitive skydiver and race car driver, the guy there on the right, and two Saudi Arabian astronauts. They're on their way to the space station where the work really begins. New Six's James Barvera was at KSC this afternoon for this historic launch. And liftoff, Falcon 9, go Axiom. Liftoff of the second private mission to the International Space Station. Together we expand what is possible in low Earth orbit. Ad Astra and Godspeed AX-2. AX-2 from Axiom Space, rocketing off launch pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, just like the first fully private mission to the ISS last year. Welcome home to zero G, Peggy. It was a phenomenal ride. Commanded by America's most experienced astronaut. I'm really excited about returning. Dr. Peggy Whitson, riding along with three first-time space flyers. It's just an amazing feeling. Axiom's customers. John Schaffner, a businessman from Tennessee. A great journey for all of us. Ali Al Carney, a fighter pilot. And Rayana Barnawi, a scientist. Saudi Arabia bought Al Carney and Barnawi seats and they will become the first from their country to conduct research on the orbiting laboratory. To the people around the world, I would like you to dream big, believe in yourselves, and believe in humanity. Private flights are precursors to Axiom's more ambitious goal, building its own space station. Axiom says its first modules will launch in two years, after AX-3 and AX-4, and initially those modules will attach to the ISS before the Axiom station flies freely. On board the SpaceX Dragon capsule, the crew is expected to dock at the International Space Station around 9.30 Monday morning. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.